Mariah Carey has served as one of the foremost symbols of song and sex for the past 15 years. And her ability to create a distinctive fusion of R&B, soul and pop have made her a timeless music icon. Mariah Carey has served as one of the foremost symbols she of song and sex New York for the past 15 own. years. Made music for the masses and become a respected member of the industry. And her ability to create a distinctive fusion of R&B, soul and pop has made her a timeless so string of high-profile missteps and failures, including a divorce from husband Tommy Mottola. She had taken left New York Mariah looking to make some serious music for the masses and professionally become a respected member of the industry. Of the industry. <laughs> 1999's Butterfly was a hip-hop infused the creating a divorce from husband Tommy Mottola. musician had left Mariah looking to make some serious personal and professional changes. The lady that was on the time didn't want me to put back her on the album. You know, a lot of those executives felt like rap music was just like bad. 1999's Butterfly was a hip-hop infused departure. The changes I read resonated with fans and more importantly, gave Mariah the confidence to believe in her instincts and set a course for healthy musical evolution. Now it's more like being myself as opposed to having rehearsed answers and being really afraid of writers and interviewers. Mariah had finally arrived at a place where she could leave the past behind. And what she wanted to leave behind more than anything was the career trajectory that her ex-husband had built for her. It's a lot better for me. I really feel like I'm coming across a lot more than I have in the past because you just can't, when it's, when it's so much of somebody else's input, it can't really be totally you. After a huge bidding war, Mariah took her first steps towards career independence by signing a whopping $100 million record deal with EMI's Virgin Records. But no amount of money could stop what would come next. I get just a few months after signing her deal, rumors began to circulate that Mariah had begun suffering from physical and emotional exhaustion. When people criticize you and rip you to shreds without realizing that you're a pe person with feelings, that's hard. Mariah's emotional turmoil took a decidedly dark twist. In a series of incoherent, semi-suicidal website messages, Mariah claimed that her various acting and music pursuits had left her exhausted and anxious. When I'm in the studio, I'm completely in the studio, 100%. I don't just go in and sing. I'm there writing, producing all night long. Mariah's ambitious tendencies and her constant pursuit of pop dominance had left her debilitated, depressed, and in a mental state that severely limited her creative approach. You can start thinking that nobody cares, you know. Mariah launched the second wave of her career with a leading role in the heavily reviled motion picture Glitter. Blasted by everyone from critics to fans, the film's paltry $4 million box office take sent the singer into a deeper state of depression. Please come see the movie. To add insult to injury, the film's soundtrack had the unfortunate fate of being released on September 11, 2001. The catastrophic first outing was enough to prompt Virgin EMI to shell out $28 million to tear apart her contract. I don't mean to say angry because my manager's going to be like, they won't understand why you're saying angry. People think you have nothing to be angry about. <laughs> Although painful, the high-profile ditching left Mariah with yet another opportunity to alter her downward slide and finally take control of her creative destiny. I'm totally free. If the fools and the land would just stop, it would be good. be good. And so when Island Def Jam offered her a label of her own with full creative control, Mariah jumped at the opportunity. I'm happy. There's like a million great things going on. I'm grateful. I'm like in a really good place. Over the course of the next few years, Mariah worked hard to find a niche in the music industry. But the passing of her father, Alfred Roy Carey, and the failure of her first Def Jam record hindered that progression considerably. This year was very, very difficult. I've never experienced anything like going through um, somebody battling cancer and then, you know, ultimately, you know, losing that person. The stress of her father's death 
and the fear of producing a subpar offering prompted Mariah to do a little soul searching. I want a little vacation right now. I'm not queen of vacations at all, but um, it's time for one. <laughs> The Emancipation of Mimi was released in April 2005 and was celebrated as the return of the voice. I feel like I'm in a great place after being kind of like out of the limelight for a minute and coming back. I feel like I've made one of the best records of my life. And, you know, everything that's led up to this point has contributed to getting me to this point. With all of the madness and disarray of the previous few years, very few could ignore the album's prevailing themes of self-discovery and personal evolution. The title, The Emancipation of Mimi, really reflected the fact that you could really hear my true spirit on this record. There are a lot of little things that are very personal to me that, that come across and come through on the record. The open discourse on her years of suffering and the ability to convert them into song were a sign that Mariah Carey had come full circle. Now it's just more me doing what I want to do and really expressing myself through the music and, um, and enjoying it. She had found the sense of inner peace that had eluded her for so long. You know what? My whole life, there's been some form of struggle that I've had to go through. If you put your trust in God and you focus on your spirituality, everything will turn out the way it's supposed to turn out. Her career's utopian peaks and horrific valleys have produced a woman more in tune with her strengths and more capable of realizing her dreams. Any struggle that I've ever been through is for a purpose, and that's fine. Mariah Carey was born to be. Glitter is totally not my life story. My life story would make a very good movie, but it would actually have to be a mini-series. <laughs> With multiple volumes, and it would be really, really hard to make it happen without certain people flipping out and getting very disturbed. So I'm going to run to my next setup. Some people like lip sync songs and do dance routines and that's what they do and that's great but I sing every song and they're very hard songs to sing. I don't show out of